Cambridge. <laughs> okay, so call for uh, summer 2014. And it started with this question, which you, uh, you hated. So express it as a single fraction, simplifying your answer. And this simplifying your answer bit is quite important at the end of it. So that, that basically means stick it over a common denominator. And I'm going to go through quite a few steps of this, but the common denominator, well, that would be 1 minus x, 1 plus x, wouldn't it? We're going to put it all over 1 minus x, 1 plus x. So we're going to have x over 1 minus x, 1 plus x. So we need to times top and bottom by 1 minus x, 1 plus x. Uh, we're going to have 1 over 1 minus x, but we're going to times the top and bottom by 1 plus x. And this one is currently over 1 plus x, so we're going to times it by 1 minus x on the bottom, and times the top by 1 minus x. So there we have it looking like that. We now need to simplify it. Um, it does say simplifying your answer. So that bottom line, which is currently factorised, we are going to write as being 1 minus x squared because that's it fully simplified. Factorising doesn't mean simplifying. <coughs> so it's kind of the opposite of simplifying. <coughs> factorizing. To simplify something, you've got to multiply out of the brackets. Um, so what, what else have we got going on here? Well, we've got x times 1 minus x squared, which I think would look like that. We've got 1 times 1 plus x, and we've got 2 minus 2x. And so, top line, we have, what have we got? We've got 3, and we've got x plus x minus 2x, so that cancels out. We've got 3 minus x cubed, and a 1 minus x squared on the bottom. And that was your three marks. Leaving that as 1 minus x, 1 plus x, unfortunately cost you a mark, which seems really harsh, but that's what happened. 